The coronavirus pandemic has us wondering what sports are on, what sports mm. are off, what can our kiddos do this summer, and what can we go and see? We're going to learn a little bit more about dance today. We've got Joe Jean, who's here with the Monona Academy of Dance. Thanks so much for being here. Well, thank you. It's really nice to be outside. Yeah. We're here in this gorgeous garden, but we want to know what's happening. So how are summer classes going? Summer classes are going great. Oh, God. I mean, we're teaching all of our classes. The kids are all in the masks, social distancing. Even at lunch, they social distance. And I mean, some of the kids were even FaceTiming each other so that they could oh. see their friends. I mean, it was awesome. I love that. Oh, yeah, that's, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. In between classes, we had yes. to run over here <laughs> after our class, and she's got to get to another yeah. one. Uh, and can I ask you, what changes have you made? Well, we actually haven't had time. to make any changes okay. the last two emergency um, orders, orders yeah. that they had because we were already doing everything. Oh, so sweet. it was awesome. It was like, oh, everyone's wearing masks. We've already been doing that. Yeah. So, yeah. and that's what we continue, we'll do in the fall, yeah. you know, and, but we will continue to do Zoom classes too. We have a few people that are Zooming, so we have the option to do that. So that's okay. awesome. That's good. Yeah, yeah. so let's nice. talk a little bit more about the plan for fall and are, are things going to change? Are you going to be able to open things back up more? Well, I mean, we're going to do as much as we can. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we're starting our registration August 10th. New people can register um, online. We can make appointments so people can come in and we can you know, check them out. We also have our store where people can make appointments. We're fitting point shoes and getting new leotards and everything in. Okay. So, you know, it's a one place to shop. So right. one stop really, shop. Yeah, yep. yeah. <laughs> for sure. So it's really, really nice. Good, I'm glad to hear that. So I know you always have your annual recital. So what's huh. happening with that or what happened with that this year? So we. I wasn't going to give up, but we have to have closure. Mm. So we set up so we could social distance. You know, we scheduled so a class would come in, we'd take their pictures, and then they would go into the larger studio and then we videoed their performance. And then I, my videographer put the whole thing together in a recital. Oh. It, oh, it, wow. it looks awesome. I mean, mm. it's so nice. Yes. So then the parents can sit down with their kids with popcorn and they can watch the show. And <laughs> I'm so proud of my teachers oh. and everyone who worked so hard to put that all together. It was really fantastic. How yes. wonderful is that for the yeah. parents and the yeah. kids and everybody? Yeah. We got just a couple of minutes left. I do want to also talk about Dance Wisconsin. Yes. And this is a, a, also something that, of course, you're involved in and passionate about. So mm -hmm. let's talk about how things are going and what your plans are for the coming year. Well, just, you know, to reinforce, Monona Academy of Dance is my school. Mm -hmm. But Dance Wisconsin is a nonprofit organization that I, I happen to be the artistic director. So it's open to anyone to, to join, to be part of the company and we have open auditions for Nutcracker. I mean, we're still planning to do our Nutcracker this year. Um, somehow, you know, if we do a, a smaller audience and live stream it or something, I mean, the kids need this. Yeah. So we're trying to keep everything as normal as possible. Absolutely. So, and then um, our, we have a fall show too, so I don't know if we'll end up doing it in the studio and we've been, trying to locate smaller venues where we could okay. do some performances. But I mean, we're just going forward, just like we, you need to keep that normalcy yeah. for kids. Absolutely. Yeah. And our biggest fundraiser of the year is coming up. We do a golf outing at the Oaks on August uh, 12th. So people can, it, you know, you, that's something you can do. Yes. You can come out and yeah. golf. So we need people to come out and support us. You can go to our website on dancewisconsin.org and get all the information, be a sponsor or come out and golf. It's lots of fun. Yeah, and that's one of the things that has suffered through all of this, of course, is the arts. And right. So having a, an outlet to be able to right. support what you're doing is yeah. really helpful because you are doing so much for these kids and yeah. for the community, and it's nice to be able to, we need it to live on. Right, right, sure. right. Yeah. So right. Yeah. Thanks for sharing some of that well, with us. You. Of course, thank we'll check you. in in the coming months, yeah. see how things are going, and hopefully yeah. okay. back to normal. That's right. <laughs> Joji, nice to have you. Thank you. Nice so to much. see you. We've got more coming up after the break, so please stick around.